to ages of angels. Amen. Christ from the dead, driving under the dead, and upon his the you destroy them. Christ is from the dead, driving under the dead, and upon his the you destroy them. Christ is from the dead, driving under the dead, and upon his the you destroy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto ages of ages, Amen. O our soul, ages of you have mercy on us. Lord, come us for our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit me in our mercies for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But now and ever unto ages of ages, Amen. Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
love and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Metropolitan Tikhon, for our Archbishop Mark, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Weather for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. The grace of our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theopolis, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. honor and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Lord, hear my voice, that thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou wishest much in it, please, O Lord, we shall serve. But there is forgiveness in
in heaven, and come down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, we have lovest mankind. Have thy servants bowed their heads, and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. For blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each of the ages. Laodiceus, 
the Venerable Asthenius and his companions, the founders of the Ivaran Monastery on Athos, and the Venerable Martyrs of the Ivaran Monastery, whose memories we keep this day, and of all the saints that have shone forth in this North American land, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good, and he loves mankind. Christ is risen. Christos did say Mautan. Please be seated. Today we celebrate the memory of the martyrs of the Iveran Monastery, uh, the Georgian Monastery, Iberia, uh, the Iveran Monastery on Mount Athos. So, Krishti Ashta, Cheshmerida Ashta. Um, Vlad and I visited that monastery when we were on Athos together in our, in our real great trip. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, and I hope uh, God's providence will allow us to go there again uh, someday. Brothers and sisters, we are continuing in this beautiful season of our Holy Church of Pascha. Last Wednesday, uh, I can't believe it was already a, a full week ago, um, I made mention of the, the liberal use of the word Pascha within the hymns, and we heard it again. We heard it again today. Pascha is this present and holy feast. Mystical and divine, sacred Pascha, the saving Pascha of God. Pascha, which conveyeth unto us immortal life. Lo, this Pascha doth take away all sadness and sorrow. Pascha, which doth grant to the disciples joyous grace. Wherefore, Thomas cried with rejoicing, Thou art my God and Lord, O Savior, who has carried off the spoils from Hades' realm. Again, this sort of the joy that we have as Christians at just the name of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Pascha. It's like magical, but it's better because it's real. It's eternal, it's strong, it's our firm foundation. And so in this season, we like to hear the word and we use it liberally because this is a season of rejoicing. This particular book that contains the hymns of Holy Pascha is called the Pentecosterio. You know, as I've mentioned before, we use big words in the church that mean very simple things. Pentecost means 50. So this is the book of the 50 days. Of Holy Pascha all the way up and through Pentecost. It's also called the Flowery Menean. Isn't that a beautiful name? Flowery, like, like flowers, joyful. It's, uh, uh, and it's, it's given to us at this particular season to meditate upon all of the things that we're experiencing as a body, the church, connecting us with those who have celebrated before us and those who will celebrate after us until the Lord's second coming. And this week we are meditating again upon the person of Thomas. And it's a special celebration as a reminder because our parish feast day is St. Thomas Sunday. So we are in this week following the celebration of our paternal feast day in which we're renewing ourselves in that faith of Thomas. Coming unto the body of Christ through his holy church, being able to touch his life-giving side through the mysteries of the church and by being a part of one another, the body of Christ, and proclaiming again those beautiful words, my Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. I want to share with you another one of the hymns that meditated further on this experience of Thomas. Oh, strange wonder, unbelief hath given birth unto steadfast faith. Remember, we call this Sunday that we've been celebrating the belief of Thomas not the doubt of Thomas. 
What about if everyone remembered us in our weak moment instead of when we repented? That wouldn't be fair, would it? It's not in Thomas's sin that we remember him, but in his repentance and in his, his affirmation of who our Lord Jesus is. For Thomas said, unless I see, I shall not believe. And when he touched the side of Christ, he spake with divine authority concerning the incarnate one, who is the very Son of God, and recognized him as the one who suffered in the flesh. He proclaimed the risen God and cried with a radiant voice, O my Lord and my God, glory be to thee. So brothers and sisters, as we continue to celebrate the radiant feast of Pascha, as we continue to meditate upon the faith of Thomas, which is a faith that has been transmitted to us through the generations to this very day, a faith that we are entrusted to also receive and to pass on. As I mentioned Sunday, peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. This is a commission that we've received as Christians to take this gift that we've received tonight, Pascha, 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 <laughs> and take it out those doors and into our lives. So people say, what are you so happy about? Say, you know what? I'm celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, and maybe you can even say, why don't you come and see what it is that brings me such joy in the middle of the week. What brings me such joy as I come out of these doors on Sunday. So that with us, the entire world might proclaim the risen Christ, to the glory of the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. Christos vos crece. Christos anesti. I want to welcome some visitors with us tonight, Reader John and Helena, who are traveling. They are became grandparents for the fifth time, a little baby girl, right? Uh, and they traveled right after Pascha from Georgia all the way to Connecticut, and they're on their way back down now. And they wanted to stop here and be with us. So what a joy uh, to have you with us. We pray that the, 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 the light of the resurrection will continue to shine and, and get you all the way home safely. Um, also, um, ask your prayers and before the service tonight. Um, Denny told me about his neighbor, Dan, uh, who suffered a heart attack, a young man in his 30s. Um, so uh, pray for Dan, uh, that, um, that God would have mercy upon him uh, and, and strengthen his family and all those who, who care for him. It's a very sudden thing that happened right before the service uh, this evening. Okay? God bless you all. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.